Hey. Hi. How are you? <clears throat> Good. Am I too late? <laughs> You're kind of late. All your people already came. Oh, really? Yeah, they talked about you. They were like, she hasn't come yet. I'm like, she only comes when y'all come. So Juan and Travis have been here already? So tell me what all kind of goods that um, Juan got. I don't remember. <laughs> that was busy. That was a busy time. Yeah. There's a lot of people there. Juan always gets the good stuff. <laughs> he is so disciplined. He can get up early, no problem. How's your dad? Good. So it was fun to go to a garage sale on a Wednesday, mind you. Um, but however, I did not get there until about 1130. <laughs> I was definitely loll lollygagging without a doubt uh, this morning. So, but I feel like I still was able to find some good things. Where was this clean out at? What was that? Your clean out that you did. A bunch of different ones. Now, of course, this box of books has caught my eye. And I always like to see if there are any Dr. Seuss books, of course. But I also like to look for the little golden books. Uh, these are great to sell on eBay. And also, they're great to put in your antique booth, too. Over here to the right is a really cute little strawberry shortcake table. And I believe the whole thing was done decoupage, but it turned out really cute. Cute little table. Okay, so I'm probably about to really show my age here. This device here in the back, this brown one with this little like button you can slide to the left or the right. That's definitely vintage. And I wanna say we used that a long time ago, like with cable TV. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what I'm remembering. And then over here we have some coffee mugs. I really only saw one that caught my eye and it was um, of a restaurant called Tavern on the Green. And it's a restaurant in New York. 
<clears throat> and I did look up the comps for that just a second ago and it looks like I might only get $10 but I don't think I paid more than a dollar for the mug so that's still a good deal you just have to think about oh yeah and here's a sold comp um, any kind of pictures like this I show you guys on eBay the, you know they're not my pictures they're just um, pictures of ones that have already sold so you can get an idea what maybe I could get for it or you could get for it if you found it and then there was some vintage vinyl over here nothing really caught my eye <clears throat> so I passed on those but vinyl is something that I'm definitely going to be adding to my booth soon I know I've been talking about it for over a year oh my gosh I'm so lazy I need to get all of those vintage records I have priced and out to the booth because my friend Travis is selling them like hotcakes so and I'm pretty sure Juan sells them too but now Travis he marks his really really cheap like price to move like five dollars a record and he sells a ton of them every single month so definitely need to get those out there had a bunch of cds here i did not have luck you got as you guys know with the cds i bought last time so i'm definitely not going to be probably buying any more of those but yeah it was just a gorgeous day for a garage sale Perfect day for a garage sale. Beautiful. Okay, I think I'm ready. Oh, ready. oh what is this little owl thing? Okay. I'll set my stuff right here. Okay. Are they boxes? Let's see. Happy wraps. Huh. Old. They look old. Yes. That's all I can tell you. Okay. Okay, all, did you see all the stuff that goes with this? What? The, do, are you getting this camera? Oh, what, are you getting this is camera? it stuff in a Samsonite bag? Yeah. Oh. In the yeah, all that. Sorry, I was going to pull it out. But I got side oh, what are you asking for at all? Uh, let's do uh, five bucks. Okay. I'm gonna do three. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Same time? 
sometimes Seven. gotta make one set come early because I think the other ones are coming early. <laughs> Every time I come early though, everybody always gets the good stuff. I'm like, why did I wake up early? I didn't get anything good. <laughs> Bye. Okay, wanted to show you my haul real quick. These vintage, um, they're called Happy Wraps by Red Farm Studio. And I've got three boxes. I really don't know anything about them. I haven't looked them up yet. So worst case scenario, I can put those in my antique booth. And then I got a couple of the golden little uh, golden books. And the, these will probably go in my booth too. And I picked up this coffee mug and it is Tavern on the Green. It's a restaurant in New York. So, and the only reason I know that is because of some show I watched on Bravo. I've never been to New York. Um, now I did pick up this squash mallow. These can be worth a lot of money. He's super dirty. I can't believe I paid a dollar for him, but I just wasn't paying attention. But I'm not worried about it. I am going to throw him in the washing machine and see if we can't clean him up and sell him. I think it's a narwhal. And then this little, I think this is like a chameleon. And it is by Disney Parks. So I'll have to figure out which character that one is. I think he's from Tangled. But I could be wrong. Okay, lastly, I got this pretty stained glass here. It is um, a partridge and a pear tree on the first day of Christmas. Uh... My true love gave to me. <laughs> so I picked up that. Really pretty. And then this one step Polaroid camera. It's pretty beat up. The accessories that it comes with and everything. So I mean I don't know. This, this is probably used. This one looks new though. And then the instructions manuals. Like got some mold on it or something. So I'm definitely not going to try and sell that online. I don't want to get bad feedback. So that's probably going to be an antique booth item. So I hope that you guys enjoyed my haul. I feel like I got a good deal for $16 for all of that stuff. Uh, be sure and watch to the very end. I have a small little Goodwill haul to share with you guys. Thanks so much for watching. And I can't wait to hit some more garage sales this weekend so that I can share them with y'all. Bye, everybody. Hey everybody, I thought I would do a quick little haul on some Goodwill items that I bought. So I bought a bunch of knickknacks, no big surprise there. But I picked up these, oops, I don't wanna break it. These birds here, they were 99 cents each and I'm pretty sure they're made completely of shell. Pretty cool looking, huh? They got little glass eyes and they do stand upright. So I will probably put these in my booth for about $10 each. I don't know. I'll probably see if they're worth anything though. I'll Google them and see if they have a certain designer, but there's three of them and they're really cute. Three bucks for all three. Uh, and of course, you know me, I am the person who gets home and doesn't realize until I get home that something is cracked. So I saw this gorgeous butterfly dish. I think it was an ashtray holder because of that cigarette rest right there but I just noticed that it's definitely cracked and looks like somebody probably glued that back together um, you couldn't tell by looking at the back side but yeah definitely cracked right along there darn let's see let me put this over here. And then for 99 cents, I got this little Gobel figure here. And it says, Hass Invader Playmates. Cute, a little boy with some little bunnies in a basket. So cute. Um, and then I picked up a glass rooster. I have quite a collection of the glass going in my second booth. So I'll probably put about, I don't know, $10, $14 on this one. 
And then next up, this little pitcher here is from Cracker Barrel, but it is just too cute. I had to get it, this little kitty cat, and he's holding the fish. And I guess like the tea or whatever you make it, it pours out of the fish. And it was $2.99 from Cracker Barrel. Has a little handle on it. To be very careful. And then I got two music boxes. Oh, there goes the rooster sliding. Look at the kitty cats. How cute are they? And it is a San Francisco music box. And I was, oh, it says fur. It plays fur Elise. So, and it does work. I did test it out. I am just found break something over here. Let's see. And then the last little knickknack is another San Francisco music box company. And this one was made in 1994. And I'm not sure, I don't remember what this one plays. Let me see if I can turn it around. The back of it's cute too, huh? Little kitty cat on the back. So if somebody recognized that tune, please let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> and then I must, must just be my lucky day because I got a whole bunch of Dr. Seuss books. So, and they're, they're down there in that bag and I'm gonna show you guys real quick. Okay, so first up are four little board books. I thought I would sell those in a lot, but I'm just not realizing that two of them are the same. But these were only 79 cents each. So, all right. And most of these were 99 cents. Oh, the places you'll go. Horton, here's a who. Oops. The foot book. Then I got two of these. Uh, Dr. Seuss, one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Green eggs and ham. Dr. Seuss, ABC. And Mr. Brown can moo, can you? And then last, I wanted to show you guys this little bitty book, look how tiny it is. It's a William Shakespeare's book, Shakespeare book. The complete plays in one setting. So it was 99 cents. And it's not an old book, it's pretty modern. I think I read it was uh, published in 2012. But it's just a neat little coffee table book. So, really like that one. So that's my haul today from Goodwill. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody.